So Okay, because I know we're running out of time, so I need everybody to look at that camera and tell their favorite story. I want John to tell us some stories. He was he was telling some great stories, then he got to politics with Jim and then it all went to hell. You want to be first? I don't have any stories. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're not stories, they were all true. <laughs> I know, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> One one of the best times uh, it was during the um, uh, the Christmas season, and Greg went out to uh, collect money for the good fellows. <laughs> Poor Greg, he always gets sent out for all the scams. He sent the G man out to do things, and he went out to uh, the literally the corner of uh, Sherman and uh, US fellow. 31. <laughs> US, Get US in our coffee and cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> and it was snowing like crazy. <laughs> and Greg had his wingtips on. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, and he's, ta he's, ta he's, ta one. he's talking to us. Yeah, like I, a, no, I gave him a here out of whether the vodka is <laughs> a bank cell phone, the bank cell phone, the old bank cell phone. Drake's talking all the bank in the studio with his bank cell phone, <laughs> and all of a sudden we hear thump 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 thump. He falls off. If you look at that that exit ramp right there, Drake had slipped off the back. He was rolling on the bank phones. I remember trading those with classy chassis with those bank phones. Those were horrible. Yeah, all of a sudden Greg said, I shouldn't have put my wing tips on this morning. <laughs> and I said, what are the shoes you got? And he said, ah, the wing tips are the shoes I got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we put you through some shit, didn't we? Oh, oh my god. god. Uh, he always did it though. He always rolls for the occasion, too. Oh he always my did. Gosh. <laughs> The Spam Fest, too. Do we have a Spam, spam Fest? Spam Fest. Oh my spam God. Jam. A classic. Spam Jam. Chili Spam Fest. Yeah, Chili yep. Spam Fest. Yeah, Renee, Renee, whatever the guy's name was, you made some chili down there. We had, yeah. we had what Lee. Was his name? Renee something, yeah. I made we had Lee Goodman. Made contact with Mary Harris's Lee spam Goodman, I love Mary, Mary Harris, the spam queen yeah. from uh, Minneapolis. Yeah, yeah. And she sent us all kinds of really cool stuff. Yeah, from Har Harmel Foods. There's always spam. Yeah. 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 From yeah. Harmel yeah. Foods, yeah. yeah. Flip-flops yeah. and uh, yeah. the watches. Mm -hmm. and the Spam Bank. The Spam Bank. Yeah. yeah. I've been trying to get a Spam T-shirt. I don't eat meat, and I hadn't eaten meat for a long time prior to that. And you and ate spam? I ate spam chili. Yeah. Oh, it man. was so freaking It was good. good. I just was like, yeah, Renee yeah. did that. Remember that spam yeah. chili? Oh, yeah. Remember so Lee Goodman? Sick. Lee Goodman oh, there? Oh, we had him oh. singing on there. Oh, yeah. Good Elvis. Yeah. 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 So I don't we know. We had that other Elvis kid, too, that 19 year old kid. Probably the most classic on air. Live radio was Greg opening a can of spam. Yeah, and sound coming out of yeah, the, the suction. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> suction. <laughs> oh, and someone's going to eat. That was, that was classic. <laughs> that was funny. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Schlichting, you're up. <laughs> What's your favorite story of this whole? He wanted us off the air. What are you talking about? I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Like, what the hell's wrong with you, Bob? What was your favorite story keeping us off? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the favorite story for me for, with you was then when we did the oldies and the eagle. Remember we did the sound. Annette and I stayed back at the studio. We did it from the oldies. And you guys were over at the Thunderbolt Gym. <laughs> Thunderbolt Gym. <laughs> and I was throwing on whatever music I could find, and every 10 minutes I was getting a call from Jim. We don't play that kind of crap on the Goldies. We don't play that. Don't cut that out. I, I did not agree. <laughs> I'm over there trying to run the whole thing from that little studio. He's over there. Turn that off. You don't play that. However, what became real evidence is that you created a follow. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. and, then, and then after a while, I had to back off and say, hey, we're talking a Saturday morning. Yeah. My preference, I, I told you earlier, mm -hmm. my preference would have been able to if we would have been able to carry it through the week, <coughs> that would have been better broken. 
Yeah, the hangover wouldn't have worked. But <laughs> oh my god! But you, you, you guys were such strong personalities. All of us were. You established yeah. that on Saturday morning, and you had a following. Yeah. You know? And I finally just said, okay. Oh, I know, but you know. he's like, okay. Well, all these, uh, all right. this group here had a... Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a great connection. I liked yeah. every connection. Every meeting yeah. we had, he quit. <laughs> yeah, Jim. Jim writes, a, Jim writes a note to me. He says, "This is not about you. You're the second highest salesperson here. We're not going to do anything with you. This is not has nothing to do with you." So he starts this meeting. And he's bitching at all the salespeople, and I, I read, "Damn it, Jim! I'm not going to." You know, I quit. <laughs> he says, "It's not about you." <laughs> No, the, the the Saturday morning show. I think I think I very much underestimated in the beginning how many stupid, crazy people there are that like it. <laughs> how, how many strong personalities there? Are. Yeah, because yeah, I you agree. can't do radio without personality. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. And I. I just didn't believe the personalities were there in the beginning. Yeah, Bob but loved us. I know Bob loved us. <laughs> Bob listened every Saturday. <laughs> Someone liked us. When yeah. Jamie <laughs> came a firefighter. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's <laughs> almost too right. much fun with that. That's right. Fireman G. Yeah, ten, uh, Twenty top races that G would be a mm. great firefighter. Poor <laughs> 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 Greg. No, it was good. Yeah. It was good. It was good. It was fodder. Oh, it, man. it was good. <laughs> okay, okay, oh, we start now. Your turn. Your oh favorite. My gosh. It's your favorite moment. <laughs> I'm gonna get those two over there. Okay, yeah, net. <clears throat> net. Go for it. I really don't. I mean, I have just this sense of having a blast. Yeah. And I remember it was nasty and dirty and funny and goofy. Smoky. Raunchy. <laughs> yeah, it was very smoky. And, and it, was there so it, it was very cutting edge for the time. It was. Yeah. You're right. I mean, that, that's, that was a scary part. Yeah. We yeah. were, we were <laughs> from a scared. <laughs> we were frightening. We were pretty scared when I said, "Listen, can we get away with that?" Ah, what the hell? Yeah, I guess we just did. Yeah, I don't really. Care. No one I stopped this yet. Yeah. I oh, Bob that. loved it though. I mean, it was really Bob because, yeah. like I say, everybody else wanted us off the air, but Bob yeah. said, "Nope, they're gonna go." That's cool. Yeah. Bill, we got. Well, the one that sticks to me is when. I had just gotten back from Russia, and when I was in Russia, when I was in Moscow, I was there for the 850th anniversary of the founding of the city, and I was staying with a Russian family. These guys interviewed me by phone on the air. Oh, I remember oh, that. My <laughs> including my friend Olga Petrova, <laughs> and, she, and they're asking her questions, and she's cracking up. She's not used to these Americans, you know. But when I get back, her family bought me a case of Russian Smirnoff vodka. Dang, why wasn't I there? And I you were brought there. a we're bunch of bottles to the show the next Saturday morning and Smirnoff. we drank them on the air, which is so oh. in violation of the regulations <laughs> of the Federal Communications well, Commission. You, you were going to teach us how to drink vodka Russian stuff. Yep, and believe me, that's... Somewhere I have a recording. That's, that's room temperature. A recording boom, knock that sucker back. And, and we actually went an hour longer. <laughs> <laughs> but when we were done, we, we, were, we were so trapped. Wow. Wow. And, and you can't, uh, the last hour, you can't understand a word. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember it. I, I remember I mean, the station the so lost its license. I know. You can't do that. Oh, we're done. That's true. That's true. <laughs> So anyway, that's fine. We did it. We did it. From from a management point of view, ignorance was bliss. I don't know you did it. Oscar. My my guy was telling Bill early. My my favorite was Neil Neil Rosen when he came in over with Toto. This was was the producer of Cherry County Playhouse. Yeah, when he 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 did the he did the whole thing with Toto. I mean, they, oh. the, the guy was amazing. I mean, some of the stuff that he had written and some of the oh. stuff that he had yeah. done, I mean, I was just very impressed with him. And I guess I told Bill, I said, the worst part was when Neil passed away, they asked me to be MC. It was the worst freaking day of my life. Well, he's a <laughs> tough act to follow. He's a oh, tough God. act to follow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
But he was he was funny. I mean, that, remember the Toto story he did though? Oh remember yeah. That? Oh god, he went he went on he went for a whole thing. Toto. He set it all oh, up, and then oh. he talked about Toto, and he had <laughs> some great stuff to say about Ted Knight. Yeah. Yeah. About John Travolta. I mean, he worked with all these guys. Well, he used to write. Uh, oh yeah. For the Smothers oh, Brothers right. with right. Steve Martin. I mean, he made yes. Pat. Paul, he made, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. He made Pat Paulson look pretty oh. small time compared to what he did. I mean, this guy was pretty amazing. Oh, because we kept wanting to get get we get Pat. Paulson on the show. Yeah, but he was back in that day. Yeah. yeah, but to me, he was the he was the star. I couldn't believe he was oh, yeah. in our town. You know, I thought what a, what a guy. But yeah, that was my favorite. And Spam Fest and uh, and Turtle Turtle Lake New Fest. Yeah. 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 My favorite <laughs> by far is Turtle Lake. Well, my favorite is him when they're playing ba- when you play volleyball. How do you play volleyball in the deer? Well, especially after we found out they were like in their late seventies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boy, well, she's that happy. makes an image for you. When I was in Cap, when I was in that broadcast was probably the most incredible thing yeah. we ever. Yeah, when I went to Cape, when I was in KBZ, and I I talked to her the first time, and I talked to her about this whole thing. She sent me a catalog of what these women, uh, these people look like. And it was like, I would never go to this camp. That's why we sent somebody else, because I would never go there. But they were advertisers on, on the station. Yeah. Right. And, uh, well, they, they, oh, yeah, because they gave, we gave away some stuff. And right. Oh, yeah. yeah, they yeah they were, that's why we interviewed, yeah, interviewed, yeah. They interviewed the, the gal that was the executive director. Yeah. Hoffman. And, and literally, you know, like Tammy Hoffman or something like that? <laughs> yeah, well, I don't remember what her name was. But Hoffman. In the first segment, I said, so how did you get involved with this? She said, well, 25 years ago, when my husband died, I I was going to this nudist colony, and so I got involved in this thing. And she said, and then I met my second husband, and uh, and we, we kind of figured out that she was in her late seventies. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I saw her. Believe me, I, I did see her. Yeah. <laughs> Went to a break and he was like, all kind of laughing, all kind of laughing, going, "Okay, so what else are we going to talk about?" Wait a minute. So wait a minute. Get, but they were having a festival. They were having a recruitment festival. Wait a minute. No, and, and how about you asking them? How, so how do you guys slow dance? <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you did ask that. You did ask that. How do you dance slow yeah, like, dance? Like uh, lots of duct tape. <laughs> 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 And she said, no, we have towels. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly. That's pretty towels. much what we lost. She had towels. And she said, we have, we have towels. We don't have that. <laughs> but she started out that segment by saying we had a 5K run. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, the imagery is overwhelming. <laughs> It was great. The whole thing. It was great. I started to tremble a little bit, and, and she said, "And no, we do. We do allow everybody to wear shoes." And then I really lost. I remember that. Yeah. He was the worst, though. He was the worst of the whole thing. He was laughing through the whole thing. Well, I was trying not to laugh, and and, and she said, I said, "So, how do you do it?" She said, "I know you're laughing about that." She said, "But everybody is required are required to wear." Shoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, you know, did we ever do it to when they had nude stock? We did yes. nude stock, and what's his name went down, and the sales guy went down. Oh, okay. Was that he one called one? in oh, no. and said, yeah, and that said, was Renee. First thing, oh, Renee. 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 Okay. Said, okay. That was Renee. Renee. First thing right. I did was I went and bought some really good sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because when I was at KBZ, <laughs> when I was at KBZ, I got to interview. That's when I got to interview uh, Randy Bachman and uh, the guy from Grassroots. You know, the, uh, I can't remember his name now. But I got to interview a lot of good people. But we did. Did we interview anybody? Any stars? Do you remember? Um, I know you said yes. you, you had told yes. me that Randy yeah, Bachman interview was the uh, most uh, boring we interview had some ever. We phone. Yeah, I don't yeah. think we, we had, had a lot of studio. people. I know we really tried hard to get Captain because, Kangaroo when he was. Yeah, when Bob Keishan was yeah. here, yeah. he was. Uh, well, he was playing the <laughs> he was playing the title role in The Wizard of Oz, right? For right. Neil Rose, and we saw it. And, it was great, uh, and he was the nice guy yeah. in the world. Yeah. Well, one last year. But when he was here, through <laughs> Rackets, he comes over <laughs> Rackets <laughs> after a show, and Greg was a puck because he was a. Oh, that's why he's laughing. He goes, Do you have any advice? He looks have like. Yeah, you might want to stay out of bars. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I, I said, hey, hey, Greg, I still have two of those Bud Lone Budweiser cans. Wait a minute. I said, I, <laughs> you are my hero. I, I, I'm about to become a father, and 
and I, I just like to know is there any advice that you recommend for a new dad? He said, go home. <laughs> I mean, he was a really good guy. Yeah. A really good guy. I mean, what you saw was what you got. He <laughs> said, go! <laughs> oh, my gosh. Who was I remember the, I, I interviewed uh, Estelle, Her Estelle Harris. That Estelle that? Harris, yeah. Yeah, I interviewed well, her. She was yeah. the nicest lady I've ever met. From the side Yeah. 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 And, uh, take care she and I and her husband became friends. Yeah, she was and, awesome. And uh, she was a awesome. really nice yeah. lady. Yeah. Getting her on okay, the stage was right. murder. It, it, it was, we, oh, we, she was, we she's like, a, we that's not a picture of everybody. That's what it's still oh, like. Okay. Yeah, but one, she's one, just one a wonderful We got to take yeah, one last picture of everybody. One of the best interviews I ever, I ever did. Yeah, I remember that. We got to take a picture of everybody. Oh, yeah, definitely. Then I get to stay Now we got a window again? Yeah. Oh, window. Oh, that window's in the way, too. So I guess we gotta come guys, here. Yeah, Unless you want to wait till dark, we're gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> All right, let's get everybody coming here. Yeah, right there. The one here, you, you can go up in front, sir. Oh, the one consistent comment. We're going to cast the characters. Going in front, I guess. You gonna sing again? Was the observation of Steven Spielberg? <laughs> That's right. Oh. Did you actually listen to the show? Get up front, just to say, what in the hell are they doing now? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm sure sometimes people just couldn't believe it. Yeah. Yeah. I, would, I, I, I would listen. Yeah. That wasn't one of the stories, though. and I would bite my tongue. <laughs> but that was one of the stories. Move some stuff around here. Kind of looked like Steven Spielberg. Oh yeah, you. Yeah. 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 Down, down there in church, down in Playhouse. You know, should be a rabbit. Yeah. 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 Yeah.